to own the future, we need to do more than just see it. We need to make it. Hi everyone and welcome to the show. My name is Zoya and I'm a third year electrical engineering student at the University of Ottawa and your host. Uh, today I have with me the CEO and founder of Zafin, Al Karim. Uh, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourself, when you graduated, what you did at UOttawa, how your experience was? So, Zoya, so I graduated in uh, 1991 from Computer Science Electrical Engineering. And uh, I have to say that uh, uh, there was part of uh, my best time uh, growing up. Ottawa is a beautiful city. Uh, University of Ottawa is a pretty amazing institution. So uh, I had a great time. So I'll, I'll tell you a bit of my background. I, I grew up in Tanzania, mm -hmm. in, in East Africa. And when I came to Canada, I'd never seen a computer. As a matter of fact, uh, when I joined the Faculty of Computer Science and Electrical Engineering, I still had not uh, worked on a computer, right? So it was quite a shock for me uh, on a personal basis. And uh, of course, things have changed dramatically since then. What was your experience in the industry like before you started off on your own? How, how was it back then? If you think about uh, those days uh, in not early 90s to start a company, it was a lot more difficult than it is today, right? Uh, today's uh, the technology is more accessible. Uh, the cost structures of uh, creating a new company and leveraging the cloud uh, functionality is a lot cheaper uh, than in the past when you had to set up your own environments and start building, right? Mm -hmm. So things have changed quite a bit on how difficult it was to build a company compared to how difficult or easy or simple it is uh, in these days. That's true. And how did you go about starting Zafin? What was your, your initial thought? What were the, I don't know, the first motivations so with uh, with zafin we are focused on banking mm -hmm. and we help banks deliver uh, the best product uh, to the right client at, at the right price right through the right channel so that's what we do when we started the, the company uh, we were not thinking about banking at all uh, having a telecom background we we're thinking about uh, what is the next business in telecom that we can start and this was in the early 2000. So in early 2000, the different governments were selling the 3G spectrum. And we saw a lot of uh, mobile operators purchase uh, 3G spectrums uh, in billions of dollars. And having spent that much money, you'll still have to uh, deploy the, the networks, the 3G networks, right? So we were thinking that you know, 3G being the broadband uh, for mobile, uh, how will uh, the, the telecoms uh, benefit and what kind of services would they provide to, to the consumers? So we looked at uh, different uh, business models and uh, the one that uh, came to mind and was most attractive at the time was uh, a telecom business being run by Entity Docomo. So Entity Docomo is a, is a Japanese uh, telecom provider, uh, very innovative even in those days and they still are. Uh, they had uh, a proprietary CDMA uh, switch and uh, they built an ecosystem of content providers. So they were delivering more content just uh, rather than providing telecom services to their subscribers. And that helped them, of course, increase the, the usage, but also gave them you know, additional business benefits. So they used to take a cut uh, about 30% cut from the eco, uh, eco, eco partners. So having looked at uh, that business and having come from the telecom background, uh, we didn't feel that uh, the uh, telecom companies had the right systems to support that new business model. So we looked into banking as the closest one that would have uh, the systems that would support uh, such a, a business model. Uh, having looked at uh, the banking, uh, we found such big holes. Uh, we figured out that uh, banks were about 10 years behind telecoms 
uh, from their uh, backend uh, systems and how they served the clients. So uh, we said uh, banks will never fail. Uh, in those times, at least, banks were never meant to fail. So we said, forget about the telecom market. We'll focus on, on the banks and we'll build uh, the product and pricing systems uh, for the banks so they can simplify uh, what they sell and how they sell their products into the market. Since you had the experience of working in the industry, but also then started your own, um, you went on your own eventually. What, what did you find most rewarding about going off and starting your own company and founding something so big? Your failures are your own, right? So uh, you have to be able to take clear ownership, but uh, then you don't have the bureaucracy. You're more agile in how you make decisions, right? And uh, success is really uh, the success of the team that, uh, that you build. You're mostly software-based computer science and cloud, so it's easy to be working from home right now during COVID. But has there been any? Have there been any big changes in the company in the team? Anything that's drastic so far? But most definitely, it has changed on how uh, we plan to sell to to our new clients, right? To our prospects. Definitely. Right? So that. moving forward, we'll have more localized teams to uh, to sell and support the clients. So, you know, you're going back to the olden days where you had uh, the IBM salesperson uh, getting to the car and driving to the client. Uh, so we are going back to that business model, right? So we have uh, the, the salesperson, the support person driving to the client and meeting them uh, from while keeping the social distancing. Right? For now, unfortunately, we have to, we've come to an end. Um, I just want to say one more time, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for your time and being here. I really enjoyed chatting with you and getting to know more. Uh, thank you very much. And I wish uh, everyone at uh, not only University of Ottawa, at all universities, uh, you know, all the best. You know, these are going to be challenging and uh, quite different times. So uh, I hope uh, all of you can be more resilient and adapt. All the thank best. Thank you so much.